Hello friends, welcome you all to the next lecture of the JCE Connect series of online lectures. In today's lecture, we will discuss the concept of depreciation. In previous lecture, we have, we have discussed the concept of inflation. So now let us come to the concept of depreciation. So what is depreciation? It represents the reduction in the market value of an asset due to age, wear and tear and obsolescence. The physical deterioration of the asset occurs due to age, wear and tear with passage of time and obsolescence occur due to the availability of new technology or new products in the market that is superior to the old one and the new one replaces the old one even though the old one is still in the working condition. The tangible assets for which the depression analysis is carried out are construction equipments, building, electronic products, vehicles, machineries, etc. So now this is the next concept that is depreciation. Depreciation is nothing but the fall in the value of any product is called as depreciation. Generally with age, the value of any product such as a construction equipment, building, electronic products, vehicles, machineries, etc. goes on decreasing because there is one impact of the age wear and tear happens as the use is there then secondly what happens is with time technology changes okay with time technology changes and that object or that material or that product which is still giving us service becomes technically obsolescence what is obsolescence is out of demand because of change in technology now for example nokia 1100 cell phone we all know how nice and effective was that cell phone but if today if someone gives you that cell phone we will be happy only to play that snake game but we are now shifted to android okay further versions also have come up okay the iphone users won't like to use now any android phones why they have gone to the next level of technology still all products can be used but no we are rejecting because of what that is technological obsolescence that is the dep depreciation okay so there are some products on which the depreciation doesn't act if you analyze a building if you evaluate a building there is an impact of depreciation but if only if that is a piece of the land the land rate is going on increasing because of inflation so inflation also affects depreciation also affects depreciation plays a very important role especially in electronic industry okay now do you see anyone using the roll cameras no all have gone for digicams and with the mobile phone coming in cameras again no supply or sales of camera has come down like anything we don't want a calendar we don't want a camera we don't want a paper and a pen because everything can be done in a small device called a cell phone Hope you remember those alarm clocks, okay, steel alarm clocks, wherein we had a key behind, chavi, okay, and uh, that alarm used to ring at the time set. Hmm, now who will use that alarm clock? Why? We have an alarm clock easily available in our cell phone. Then hopefully all of you have seen the directory, phone directories, okay, which we used to like. There were alphabets on the right hand side and we used to enter the names of our relatives and friends and all and maintain that phone directory but now do we require a phone directory no we have a cell phone everything is inbuilt right so that is what is change with time and those all things become depreciated that is they don't have much value now but in case of some other products which become antique okay their depreciation impact doesn't happen for example, now if you go to sell your old bullet, if you have an old bullet, okay, a person who is enthusiastic about it can purchase that giving you far more higher value than its actual price. Okay, that means those products are depreciation free. Depreciation amount for any asset is usually calculated on yearly basis. Depreciation is considered as expenditure in the cash flow of the assets although there is no physical cash outflow depreciation affects the income tax to be paid by individual or a firm as it considered an allowable deduction in calculating the taxable income so say 
for your vehicle if you are paying a tax if your vehicle becomes old okay that means its cost has decreased so your tax also can be decreased if you have a building you are paying a tax after 50 years that value of that building as a unit has come down so your tax is also reduced so income tax takes care of depreciation also so if you evaluate your vehicles okay and without depreciation effect then it becomes wrong because depreciation effects hits the vehicles or the automobiles in at a higher rate you purchase a four wheeler especially which is of uh, other brand other than your maruti because maruti vehicles have a high depreciation cost also okay maruti suzuki vehicles but that other vehicle gives a very low value because it will be severely hit by depreciation generally the income tax is paid on the taxable amount which is equal to the gross income less the allowable deductions that is expenditures which is nothing but your depreciation depreciation reduces the taxable income and helps results in the lowering the income tax to be paid the commonly used depreciation methods are straight line depreciation method declining balance method sum of years digits method and sinking fund method now we'll be studying in further lectures the sinking fund method which is most commonly used so we have understood uh, briefly the concept of depreciation as much as inflation is important depreciation also plays a very important role in the civil industry because we deal with lot of equipments and machineries and tools and vehicles so concept of depreciation also adds up value to your knowledge hopefully we will go through this lecture and make the notes for it thank you